Hello everyone. Today uh, we are going to add uh, dialog audio clips to this system. So when we approach the character, we have two options. If I select talk. Hello. Hello. Ma'am. Ma'am. So that's the first step. Then we have three more options. If I select one. Who are you? Yeah, you can, if you choose, you choose to. So the, the dialogues don't really make much sense without uh, focusing on the right character in the right time and having some kind of a sequence. But uh, let's work on this system until we get there. This episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, uh, at the moment we have this implementation where we can go and select one of the choices and we don't have audio at the moment. So let's work on audio because I got audio, good audios from the, for the first dialogue. I'll create a new folder D1 because this is all these uh, audio clips that I am about to import uh, for the first dialogue. Hello, man. You can if you choose to. Now, now that we have the audios, we need a place to define which audio to play uh, in our data structure. Here. So I'll add a new variable. Uh, which one? Sound base. For this character, we should be able to define the relevant relevant sound. That's not appearing yet. I think I have to compile this character. Okay, let's go with the parent character. Ah, right, now it's available. So let's assign each sound relevant to the scenario for the talk relevant one is hello hello man okay and actually the next audio is who are you mm. you can if you choose to Oh wait, we need two the two audio clips. One for the player's part and the other one for the response part. First let me change this. So, And I'll rename this one to player audio and response audio. OK, 
Okay, mm, we'll copy that also. We need to compile characters. Response audio. For the first one, we don't have a response. Second one, we have that says you can, you can if you choose to. Next one, ignore. And if you ignored, no dialogues are there. I don't have time for frills. Look, I don't, I don't have, have time, time for frills. Either you tell them what you Just follow your way, way until you find them. Disturbed. What, what do you mean to choose? To choose from what? what? Well, well, we find you. you. You will understand. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, sure I know, I know what, what to do. do. Find it first, and then, then we will we talk. You have nothing to be afraid of. I told you, you have nothing to worry about. Just tell me, what do you need to do? Please, choose wise. Find him and Okay, uh, I assigned most of them. Some of them are actually missing. So, alright. Okay. So now we have sounds, how to play them. That's the next part we have to figure out. Um, let's go to our... Hide. Actually, I don't think hard is a good place to play audios, but for now let's just we just need a way to play the sounds so therefore let's just play it here and sound should be played when we make a selection right here Sound truly. We need both player sound and the uh, response sound. We use this. Let's uh, convert this to a macro. Before playing, we first need to check if this is valid. Uh, later on, maybe we will have to replace this all the sounds and everything with just a sequence cinematic. But for now, we have to play them through the port. If you don't have a sound, just skip it. We have a sound, we have to make a delay until it is the sound is completely played. The duration, and also we need to have some gap between player's audio clip and the response audio clip. Let's have a one second delay here in addition to the duration
this one. Okay, let's see now. Hello? Hello? Why not the next option is Safari? Why it didn't cut it? We don't need this much of a delay when going to the next part. But why it didn't continue? Shall you do a debug? Okay, let me put this guy here. And select the current heart. Hello, man. You have you not got to be afraid. Execution did exit this part, mm, but nothing happened after that. What's wrong? Yeah, we can't actually reduce this to less than one second because we have a hiding mechanism uh, well actually everything is working as intended because when i select either doubtful or any other choice what happens is player says something and the woman says npc says something and then that's all so okay what we don't have is the problem we have is uh, we don't get the character controls back Let's see again. Hello? Hello? Man. Man. You have you nothing, have nothing to, be to be afraid of. I am afraid you can, you can judge, judge by my appearance. But, but it means me not nothing. I this red guy is supposed to be an old woman. Sounds funny. Alright. Okay. Uh, so, in order to return the controls, what we need to do is... Here. Here. If we get an invalid array that means an array with no in no elements length equal to 
is zero that means we don't we can go back to character controls because that's the final choice so branch let's check if this is larger than zero if it is larger than zero that means we have other stuff if not we can so if it is false we can just set input mode set game input mode this is not a default function this is something we created before let me just show you this is the definition of the function just in case you wonder Okay, now let's try. Hello. Hello. Man. Man. Who are you? You can, you can if you choose, choose to. Okay. Now the control is returned and we can walk away. All right, that's one part, one step in this uh, complex system. And I'm gonna stop this for today. Thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye